Hey guys, Matt with TNJ here again to talk to you about another one of our great products. Today I'm going to talk to you about our palette peel or palette tape. Uh, this is our 16 inch, we offer it in a couple different sizes. The importance of this is we want to make sure we're using fresh palette tape to make sure we've got a nice smooth surface when printing. If we have too dirty of a surface, it'll actually start to affect the print. You'll start to see the fibers and the roughness come through on some fine detail printing. So once it gets dirty, we want to go ahead and peel it off and put fresh palette peel down. It's going to be the best way to make sure that our prints always look consistent and we have the best tack down ability when using different types of adhesives. Uh, some shops don't use this and they'll go straight to the palette. That means you have to use a lot of chemistry and sit there and scrape off your actual rubber palette. It's not good for the rubber, it'll start to swell and it'll actually kill some of the flatness and smoothness long term. It also takes a lot longer to clean the palette that way. So I highly recommend any shop uses a palette tape or a palette peel and the frequency in which you switch it will depend on how dirty they get and how fast. So we we'll take this dirty palette now. It's not too bad, but it's bad enough to start looking at getting a new piece of palette tape on there. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to apply my 16 inch wide palette tape to it and I'll show you exactly how I do that. Everyone puts their palette tape on differently. Uh, the person who put this on beforehand cut it a little short so it's like this. All you got to do is kind of roll your finger back on it and you can get it that way. When I apply the new one I'll leave a little extra so it's easier to peel off. Go ahead and grab the edge. You can get a couple edges and try to roll. You don't really want to pull up and rip. You just want to roll it back and keep it at an angle so you try to make it come off in one smooth sheet if possible. For those of us who have worked in a print shop long enough, we also know the most fun about this is being able to do your best Kobe impression. I made it, trust me. So everyone has their own method to putting on palette tape, and here's how I do it. I take my palette tape, line it up to the edge, I'll start to back off a little bit, and I'll roll it forward using my forearms like this, take it up to the edge, and I like to put a little over so it's easier to peel it off later. Push it down nice and firm, and then start to peel this back. Make sure you've got a knife nearby. Bring it up to the front, and we're going to cut a little extra. Then use this in your favor to go ahead and smoothen that out. The back got some wrinkles, just go ahead and lift that up. Use that roll again to smooth it out. If you do it right, you should have no bubbles or any wrinkles left in there. If you do have wrinkles, just peel it up a little bit and go ahead and smooth it back out one more time. Last thing we want to do is use that knife again just to make sure that any edge you have, we go ahead and cut off. The front as well, we'll go ahead and cut a nice smooth line. You don't want to have too much sticking over the front because you'll have a hard time loading the shirts on. Also at the back corner, you don't want too much hanging off because you'll peel the shirt and you'll catch the side of that. So now that we've got a nice smooth surface here to apply any of our different TNJ palette adhesives, we can use our Mistit, Webbit, TBHB, TB10, and we'll make sure we've got a nice smooth surface to go ahead and continue our printing. So that's how I like to use our palette tape. We've got a couple different size options, 12 inches, 16, 18, and 24 inches. Choose the one that's right for you. Some people like to go bigger and cut off a little more. Some people like to have it be a butt fit for the palette. Whatever you would like to use the most is the best option. Uh, you can check this out and all of our other great products on tjprintingsupply.com.